Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be doing a full breakdown of the upcoming release of LR Trunks and Vegeta on Global, which is happening in about two days from now. And we're going to go over their uh, details, their animations, their banner of course, and also their banner side unit, which is a new Goku Black. And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will be able to decide for yourselves if you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to try and pull them. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. And before we talk about the actual banner, let's pop over to the official Global Talk on Twitter page and check out their animations. So let me just quickly pause the music here, full screen this, and enjoy guys. So obviously I've seen these animations many, many times now, but that still gave me chills, man. They're so sick. Uh, the reason I was laughing earlier was because the <laughs> lip syncing for, I think this line right here is just so off. Obviously, um, the animation was made for the Japanese voice line, I'm pretty sure, right? So uh, with the English, it's just, it was funny. Watch. In case you guys missed it, uh, check this out. <laughs> this man's mouth just keeps moving for like an extra two seconds but anyways um amazing amazing animations uh definitely some of my favorite in the game i would say like top five easily you know like to me on par with uh the gammas honestly which are also some of my favorite so uh yeah animations awesome let's move on to the banner now and quickly break that down i'll put the music back on Okay, so uh, this is the banner that dropped on JP, of course, for the Trunks and Vegeta. And I think the global banner will probably be exactly the same because I don't think any of these units were recently featured on a global Dokkan Fest banner. So there's no real reason to switch out anybody. And as you can see, there are 10 featured SSRs. We got the Trunks and Vegeta. We have the side unit, which is the AGL Goku Black. We have... Uh, Tech LR Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta, the Fizz LR Blue Boys, the Tech Gobros or Gohan and Goten, the Fizz uh, Super Saiyan Kids, Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Goten, the Tech uh, Kale and Khalifla, STR Kefla, STR Super Saiyan Blue Cock and Goku, and Int Goku Black. Um, overall, I think this banner is okay. It's okay. I mean, it does feature three. Dokkan Fest LR, actually four, four Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs, three older ones and of course the new one. Um, my main issue with this banner, the, the featured pool, is that a lot of these units are pretty old, especially these three. Okay, the Kefla, 
the Super Saiyan Blue Kakan Goku and the Int Goku Black are just not very good anymore and uh, desperately, desperately need Extreme Z Awakenings, especially this Goku Black. I mean, he's sick because he goes Rosé, and uh, I do still love those Rosé animations, but as far as performance goes, he is just not the most usable right now. He's not the most usable right now. And outside of that, uh, Kaelin Khalifla is still a really good stacker. Um, good on long events, shorter events, not so much. Uh, this, Goten and Trunks, um, overall, I think still solid. They hit really hard, and uh, defensively, they got the dodging capabilities. Uh, they get some defense, not a lot, so they are definitely not the most reliable defender, but good damage. Um, and these three LRs, I think, are all usable at the moment, um, especially the Tech Gogeta is still actually very good on a lot of events in the game, even the harder ones. Uh, the Blue Boys, um, defensively, I feel like are a liability. Uh, they can still do some, do some good damage, and of course, still have some of the best animations in the game, no question. And the Go Bros, um... Decent, decent, but older, on the older side for sure, one of the oldest, or, yeah, one of the oldest Dokkan Fest LRs in the game, right? I think so, so, yeah, these guys could use an Extreme Z Awakening as well, um, not to say they're terrible, but they're definitely not amazing anymore. So, my point is, uh, if you guys are missing a lot of these units, obviously, like, how good a banner is does depend on, you know, the player themselves, right? Like, how many of the units they, they need, how many they are missing. Um, if you are like me, and you already have most of these guys rainbowed, then it's gonna be a really bad banner for you. Um, for most people, though, for the average free-to-play player, I think it's a solid banner, you know? I would give it, like, a 7 out of 10, you know, 7.5 maybe, because of all the Dokkan Fest LRs. But I definitely don't think it's overall that exciting. Um, of course, the new Trunks and Vegeta, I think most people know, are amazing. We'll talk about their details in just a second, but they are extremely, extremely good. Uh, a top 5, top 3 unit in the game right now. And uh, yeah, overall banner, not bad, not great, solid, decent, right? So. That is the banner, which we can expect to see uh, on Global as well as JP, or, you know, was on JP, eventually on Global in about two days. And now let's jump over to the unit details, of course, starting with the main unit, the Trunks and Vegeta, the Gallic Gun Trunks and Vegeta. Leader skill is Bond of Parent and Child, which is, uh, I mean, technically not a new category because we already have it on Global, but... This is the first real leader we have for it. Um, I think the other one was the free-to-play um, Goku and Gohan, right? Who provide like, I forgot what it was, like 100% maybe or less. These guys are the first real leader for the Bond of Parent and Child category or Future Saga. Category K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Battle of Fate category. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key super raises attack and defense, which can be stacked infinitely, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive activates the entrance animation once only. And key plus 2 and defense plus 70% and guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn when there is another bond of parent and child category ally attacking in the same turn at characters or sorry at start of characters attacking turn. Key plus 2 attack and defense plus 140% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional key plus 1 up to 5 and defense plus 15% up to 75% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 35% with each attack received plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and guards all attacks as the first attacker in a turn and their additional boosts are calculated separately, so they're getting, uh, let's see, a total of defense plus 320% after receiving 5 or more attacks during battle, plus an additional defense of up to 565% for 5 turns as the first attacker in a turn, and defense boost of 442% starting from the 6th turn. So essentially, the point is, 
they get a lot of defense and they stack defense on their 18k super so in the long term they're gonna get extremely extremely tanky on top of the fact that they're getting guaranteed guard as the first attacker in a turn so just an amazing defensive unit that also has a ton of offensive potential and uh, that's what makes them one of the best units in the entire game some people still argue they're the best unit I'm not going to get into that in this in this video right here, but what I'm here to tell you is that they are definitely um, top, top tier. You know, definitely, unquestionably, one of the best units in the game. Uh, you will not be disappointed to have them on any of your teams that they fit on. Speaking of which, let's talk about their other details real quick. The active skill is the Father-Son Gallic Gun, which you saw in the animations. Massively raises, attacks temporarily, causes ultimate damage. Within the turn activated, all attacks become critical hits and raises all allies' defense by 20% for one turn. And it can be activated when all allies attacking the same turn are future Saga category allies starting from the third turn from the start of battle or when HP is 50% or less starting from the fifth turn from start of battle, of course, once only. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Category Sorry, uh, legendary power and categories are Future Saga, Time Travelers, Join Forces, Vegeta's Family, Bond of Parent and Child, uh, I skipped a couple, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Battle of Fate. So that is the Trunks and Vegeta. They are just absolutely incredible. I mean, they, uh, performance-wise, are up there with any of the top units in the game. Like I said, they're just... They're just monsters, man. They're just absolute monsters. So there's not much more to say. Um, awesome unit. Awesome, awesome unit. Next up, we have the AGL Goku Black, who still, in my opinion, has one of the worst TUR arts in the entire game. Like, I would not have been surprised if someone told me that this was a free-to-play Goku Black. He just looks really basic, you know? Like... It just, it just, something about it looks really cheap. Looks really cheap. Um, leader skill, Future Saga, category key plus three. HP, attack, defense, plus 130%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And seal super attack, passive attack and defense, plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 25%, with each attack received up to 100%. Attacks effective against all types, starting from the turn in which the character receives the fifth attack in battle. And Future Saga, Category Allies, key plus 3, Attack and Defense, plus 40%. So very good support right there. Uh, links are Cold Judgment, Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Realm of Gods, Batara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Inhuman Deeds, Corroded Body and Mind, and Worldwide Chaos. So, um, all I can really say about this guy is that he's solid. You know, he's, he's a decent side unit, but he's definitely not on the level of, like, these banner side units we've come to expect, like the STR Piccolo, you know, like, he just is okay. Um, the passive is really basic. It's a really, really basic passive. It feels like a unit from maybe a couple of years ago, not like a 2022, you know, November 2022 release. Um, so, like, he's fine but doesn't really stand out in any way the only thing i really like about him is the fact that he is an amazing support unit for future saga um so you know i'll probably run him just because i like having at least one to two supports on every team i build um whatever possible right so yeah i like the support otherwise uh he's not really doing anything else that like makes him that interesting he's just a really basic unit with a really basic uh card arts like i don't understand how this is a new tur okay i know i'm obsessing over it too much it doesn't really matter it really doesn't but yeah it's just a really you know lame art anyways um that's it that's the goku black nothing crazy about him nothing too special he's gonna be fine um good support uh, that, that that's kind of it, you know. The ceiling will be clutch in some events like Super Battle Road, for example. Uh, I don't think he gets enough defense to really tank too many hits. Um, 
his damage will be okay because of the attacks effective against all types, but I wouldn't also expect like for him to do much damage uh, either, so he's just fine. He's just fine. So those are the two new units, guys. Of course, this is definitely the one that is far, far more exciting and far more impressive. And uh, the banner, it's okay. It's okay. And the animations are incredible. Incredible, incredible animations. Just uh, some of the best in the game once again. So at this point, uh, I've given you guys all the information hopefully you need to make a decision for yourselves. Um, when it comes to my recommendation about what I feel like you guys should do, it's a bit of a tough one because <sighs> there's some rumors out there that Beast Gohan is around the corner. We don't know for sure. Okay, I don't think there's anything confirmed yet, so he might be coming in December. He might be coming in a few more months, right? So all we really know right now is that Beast Gohan is coming. So if you guys want to have a lot of stones for Beast Gohan, then obviously you should be saving primarily for him, right? Um, there's also going to be that special Christmas banner that uh, will include the Trunks and Vegeta along with the 7th Anniversary LRs and a bunch of other units. So if you guys maybe want to save for that banner too, then split your stones between this one and the Christmas banner. The Christmas banner will give you a chance to pull them as well, but at a much lower rate because there's going to be so many featured uh, SSRs on that banner. So um, that, like I said, it's ultimately up to you. I think that these units are, or this unit, the Trunks and Vegeta is really, really powerful. So if you really want them, I don't see anything wrong with dropping a couple of multis on the banner, but I wouldn't go too crazy, especially because we also have the Christmas banner with the multiple rounds of guaranteed LRs um, coming too. Or sorry, New Year's banner. That's the New Year's banner. The step ups are coming for sure. That happens every single year. It's a staple, so we know that's around the corner. So just a lot of things to save your stones for coming up. And as exciting as this unit is, as amazing as they are, I wouldn't blow your entire stash of stones on this banner that's that's what i'll say um i would definitely be aware of the other things that are coming i know it's kind of tough too because a lot of you guys probably blew your entire load on the heroes banner right so uh you're probably already low on stones um yeah it's it's a little bit of a difficult situation for global players at the moment but that's my recommendation guys uh, a couple of multis um, you know, just to scratch that summoning itch, I guess, and don't go too crazy here, unless you just really, really want this unit. Um, there are some pretty big things around the corner, so keep those in the back of your mind. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. We went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but hopefully it was helpful. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time replay until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video signing out <laughs>